The dangerous weather system making for treacherous conditions as we approach the busiest travel day of the year on Sunday. Two feet of snow dumping on Northern California's Soda Springs. Stalling I-80 mountain traffic nearby as officials check for chains on tires. And a bus full of students overturning on icy roads in Washington State. Nearly 50 taken to the hospital. Here's weather anchor Sam Champion. Tonight, terrifying moments for the University of Washington marching band. Rollover traffic accident, multiple injuries from a charter bus. The college musicians traveling on Interstate 90 to a football game when their bus went off the road and overturned. And they had to climb out of it, and which is kind of dangerous as well. Icy roads, temperatures hovering near freezing. 47 people taken to nearby hospitals. Luckily, none of the injuries are believed to be life-threatening. Meanwhile, in the Northeast, millions of Black Friday shoppers battling frigid conditions. Temperatures again dropping more than 25 degrees below normal in some spots. Sam joining us now. And Sam, those temps set to go up, but you're monitoring that new system that may impact millions heading home from the holiday. Uh, that's right, Whit. Now, it's been a frigid 48 hours in the Northeast, last 48 hours, but here's the good news about that. If you were standing right here 24 hours from now, it'll be 20 degrees warmer. Now let's track that storm you're talking about that's moving across the country. The next one, it's the same one that put those icy roads in Washington State. Now, when you look at it, it doesn't look very focused or put together, but it will. It will get stronger as it moves into the center of the country. So it's a narrow and intense band of snow, ice, and possibly even whiteout conditions. And you could take that from Kansas, the worst weather, all the way into Illinois as well. Um, now, we know that folks are going to be traveling from the West Coast back home after the holiday weekend, so the airports that are most likely to be involved in this next round of snow are going to be Denver, Kansas City, and also Chicago. Wit. All right, Sam, we know you'll be tracking it. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.